Hey guys, Blue Yoshi here, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy! Last time, we went to the engine room and began that doing the Gold Leaf Galaxy, which is essentially just a rip-off of the Honey Hive Galaxy. Today, we are going back into the engine room and doing our second galaxy, this one today being the Sea Slide Galaxy. So yeah, hype for that. Now, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Super Mario Galaxy, definitely drop a like below. You know, you can comment if you feel like you have anything to say, you know. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Like, come on, guys. It's kind of like kind of something you should do. And then, of course, watch my videos. All these things would extremely help me. You guys, I have no idea how tough it is to be a smaller YouTuber these days, but I digress. Anyways, today I'm here with my brother, Micah. Yaha, haha, yaha, Micah. Ooh, he's tricky this time. He didn't do what he's been doing for the last few episodes. Woo! But yeah, so today I'm going to be uh, going with Guppy, and um, going after Guppy with Micah here today. So, yeah, let's get this party started. Because we have some penguins, and these penguins, one of them has to have something funny to say. This guy's faster than a torpedo, it's crazy. Why are you going to swimming with a shell? Um, yeah, probably. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, second that I take one of these, okay. You know you can die with Z. Are you kidding me? We're on the second to last one. We're going to the second to last dome in this game and we're just learning how to swim. Come on, game. This is one awesome loop of ocean, but that big hooligan is causing trouble and keep us all keeping us all out of it. Oh my gosh, I can't say that. Oh my gosh, wow! But yeah, essentially, yeah, that guy over there, his name is Guppy. I'm actually, his name is Tucko. I'm just going to be calling him Tucko for the rest of this video. And you see, Tucko over here is kind of like taking over the ocean. It's, it's kind of something that I did. It's not okay. So yeah, we can just stop him. But you know, you know what? These penguins are okay for a few minutes here because. First of all, I want to show off something uh, in this galaxy here. Uh, if I can return the service. Yeah, if you go into the sling store over here, you can talk to this toad who is conveniently perched on this uh, mushroom. Uh, mu I think it's like a mushroom ship. I, I don't know. Uh, and talk to this guy right here. And this means I get to use my toad voice. From here, you can see that the ocean is a big ring. Yeah! Yeah, so we can just, you know, conveniently fly back over here and talk to Captain Toad. Let's see what he has to say. So that's the hooligan that's been causing trouble? Yeah, well, I'll teach him! Yeah! Yeah, let's do it, Mario! Yeah! He us us in another castle! <laughs> Okay, now we have the most photorealistic shark here. Now, who do we have here? Is some fun of those penguins? Well, let's get something clear here, Landwalker. This sea's mine, see? If you want it back, show some gills and make it through these eight rings. This sea's mine! See? <laughs> and also Sonic. You see, see, what just happened is that, um, it, like, the, the developers of this game, you know, they, they, they were trying to make, like, a Sonic game originally because, you know, the developers like Sonic. Uh, that's how I imagine it. And, you know, they, they made this level, and they were like, but this is a gosh dang good level. I love this level, you know? I am attached to this level. You know what we, you know what we need to do? We need to make, we need to put wings in it. You know, like, yes, Sonic. And, yeah, I wasn't said it's had wings, and it's made no sense, and they couldn't get the license to Mario, so they just, you know, they couldn't get the license to Sonic, and then you just use the wings. That's how I imagined it. But yeah. Also, I do want to mention that the size of these, actually, all walls, you can run into them, you can walk on them, it's kind of funny. But, yeah, it looks like Waddle, but it's not. It's something else. I don't... I can't tell you what it is, because I don't know. But it's something. Something that Mario can walk on, so. Who knows? Anyways, let's just get this last one here. And we are now Super Saiyan Mario! Actually, actually, I 
Ones who are not yet. We just need to we grab and stall heal. But not before Dog and do this guys again! Yay! Okay, Captain Toad, tell me something. Yay, Mario! I was gonna teach him a lesson, but you beat me to it! Yeah! Okay. Thanks for welcome, Stash Guy. You still gonna call us old. Okay. <clears throat> Is that a power cell I see over by Guppy? Or I mean, Tuckle? Excuse me. Uh, now we can play. Yeah, way to go. Thanks for lunch. Close up again. Yeah. Okay. No one's out beyond this point. Yeah. So, not exactly the most exciting thing to say, but. I guess all penguins have their days. Don't lead too far into that. Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, and we got a food stall in the sea slide galaxy. I have to skip this stall. What? It says you got stall. I don't think we can skip that. It's not. It's not a physically possible task. So we went after Tucko today. It's, congratulations us, but. Yeah, so let's go back into the Seaside Galaxy and grab our second star heal. And surprisingly, ooh, we are just being so tricky today. Now we have a Comet second in our list. Oh no, whatever shall we do? This whole thing is just changing out of line. What are we gonna do, Mario? Oh no. Yeah, so we have an underwater cosmic Mario race here to deal with. Oh no. Yeah, essentially we just need to make it to that towel. Faster than Cosmic Mario. Believe me, this is actually one of the hodo Cosmic Mario missions in this game. It's, it's quite tough. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's just me because I'm bad at swimming. But I don't know. I think this one is a little tougher. But yeah. <laughs> Anyways, let's go, Cosmic Mario. Two, one, go! Yeah, so what I suggest for this first part is just do a long jump, be on his trail, go exactly how he goes for this first part. That's what I recommend to you. It's a blue shell. Why can't I have the good looking shells? It's unfair. It's like. It's unfair, Mom. It's unfair. Anyways, let's get these wings, and yeah, these wings will make you go extremely fast for a short time, so definitely grab those. And oh gosh, oh, that's not good. That's not good at all, guys. Oh no. Oh shoot. Yeah, we're not going to win this. I might as well just speed up the process. Whee! Um. 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 Okay. I don't. I don't know how that happened. Um, Mario, how did you do that? How did you do that? Okay. Somehow Mario escaped death right there. Okay. Remember guys, if you're acing someone and you try to commit suicide, don't worry, it's perfectly fine. You'll just live it and you'll lose the race, but you know what, you still live it, so... I guess. Kobe's pro tips for bullying, guys! Yeah, actually, actually don't do that, it's not a good idea, don't attempt suicide. I'm simply making a joke, but really guys, it's not... Not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Okay, so we want to jump over here. Okay, quickly get rid of all shells. Go to this table. Just remember to keep on long jumping because it's the fastest way. And we completely beat him. That wasn't even close. And we grabbed our second star heal in the Sea Slide Galaxy. So yeah. And that will be our 70th star today. See, I'm just so good. I can read the numbers of stars before they even come on screen. That's how amazing I am at this job, people. I mean, subscribe now. Subscribe to the best YouTuber ever. Just, just saying. Just saying. But yeah. So let's fly to the second mission of this galaxy. This one being the faster than a speeding penguin. It's, it's, like, it's, a, it's a Superman joke, guys. Super yeah, all you need to do here is just beat a penguin in a race. So, it's not that hard. It's actually not that hard. In fact, you don't even need to do anything special. You just need to, like, normally swim through this. I don't know. I remember when I was a kid, it kind of gave me some trouble, so I guess it's something. And also, yes, you can walk on this, as you can see right here. It's making, like, water trails, so... 
Um, I guess technically they don't want you to do that, but I, I, I don't know, it's really weird. <laughs> so, I don't know if that's supposed to be glass, or what, because, you know, we're walking on this as if it's water, but it's obviously not water, so, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, let's read this here. Today, Penguin Races, challenge is welcome. Okay, um, I have a feeling that we're Mario, so we're probably going to participate in Penguin Race, although it makes zero sense, and we're not a gosh dang penguin in Mario. How do you hold on to imaginary surfaces? It's going to take a while to get the cannon ready. Hang on! Okay, and look at this guy. Look at this guy. Just like... You know that you are winning at life. When you are doing what this Toad is doing. Look at this guy! Look at what you are doing, Toad! Toad, what are you doing? Stop smiling! Toad! Toad! You gotta... Toad! Toad, stop! Is that even a pickaxe? It's not even... It's not even... It's, it's, no, I just... I give up. I, I give up. Beyond my comprehension. Just beyond my comprehension. You know, okay, I just want to talk. I want to see what Tucko here has to say to it. Oh, oh, okay. I, I see how it is. Okay. I see how it is. He just doesn't. I see how it is. I see how it is. I now understand. I, I have accepted it. Turns out that hooligan is finally going to straighten up and swim again. Well, you're intimidating. Ooh. Yeah, all we need to do is just participate in this penguin race? Sure. See, there isn't even an answer yes. You have to say, sure. Sure. Also, like, the wingmaster of this guy. The, the wingmaster of these penguins is participating in the game. So, I mean, like, that makes more sense than Mario. But, I mean, come on. Technically, I that's a stupid thing to call him out on because technically I host tournaments. And I participate the, in them, so uh, I guess that's something. By the way, for anyone that goes to my school, um, you know, you know, anyone that goes to my school, we are starting monetary uh, prizes. Uh, currently, our idea is going to be a one to two dollar entry fee, depending on uh, what we can figure out here. Uh, and then we're gonna pull up the money and spread it across first, second, and third, and then probably like a commission for anyone that just came. So, yeah, just monetary fun, cool things. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so all you have to do is just beat this guy. We'll right behind him, and now we're right in front of him, and now we're right behind him, and now we're right in front of him. Okay. Barely gonna beat this thing? Okay, we're still doing good. Okay. Yeah, as I said before, you don't really need to do much to beat this guy. You just need to swim like you're normally swimming. See, it's not it's not very difficult. I also suggest going into the swings like you did last uh, time we went to a level like this, but yeah. I, and did you know, you can actually just walk out of here and just like walk to the finish line. <laughs> Which is like the most disrespectful thing you could ever do in a Mario game. Like, seriously, this is... This has to be like the greatest thing ever. Just, just round of applause for Mario here. Round of applause. Great sportsmanship. Anyways, this guy will give us a gold medal in the form of a star. And we, we got we got a third star in the Seaside Galaxy. Totally didn't mess with that one up. Yeah. Okay, Micah. Give us thy words of wisdom because I'm sorry I have not given you much time to shine. I don't know if we're going good on time or not. Oh, we're doing decent. We're doing decent. Okay, yeah! Ah! Micah is now a angry sheep. I know. Oh! My ears! What is this, like Tournament 4? The Autumn 2015 Singles Tournament? My ears? What have you done, Queen? I don't think... I think there's many people watching this that got that joke, but if you want to find great jokes like that, just click onto the Nintendo's channel right here. Yes. 
Actually, I won't put it up here because it'll make this video come out like two days late, so... Sorry for that. <laughs> Anyone here is helping us look for those green... It's not green stars. Silver stars. Sorry, I'm getting this messed up. For Super Mario Galaxy 2. This, and, and, oh no, I didn't use my Toad voice, guys. Okay, just... Just to make the even, I'll use the Toad voice on this. Obviously not a Toad. I swam into my flippers, couldn't flap anymore. But I did see a silver star anyway. Well, I love how you guys like Party! Yeah. Party with penguins. They, they really need to put that on the box cover of this game. Like, not, not the like amazing orchestra soundtrack that they probably like could just sell and make money off of. No. They'll just put on just put on the cover like let the like, what? No, don't, don't put on what on the front cover. Don't do that. I mean, you can dance with penguins. Put that on the front cover. It's gonna make millions. Yeah. Make millions and no, this game is like old. Okay. Um, I am having unreasonable trouble with this. Okay. Just go over here. Get this little bee mushroom. Of course, you cannot touch the bottle with this bee mushroom. Mushroom, no, mushroom, no, obviously because, well, it's going to die. You're going to lose your power. It's not good. So, yeah, definitely watch out. Watch out. Watch your back. Watch your gosh dang sting. Nelson. Gosh dang Nelson. Like the three people that actually know who Mrs. Nelson is, at least the people that went to my old school. <laughs> I, I bet they're not even watching it at this point. Funny if one of them is. Yeah, if you went to Mrs. Nelson's class back in elementary school, and you know who, <laughs> that like seriously, tell me, cause I, I want to know if you're actually watching this. That would be, that would be something. That'd be something very special. It's something worth treasuring. Anyways, you can see is there are, like Starbit Luma here. Of course, that's going to be our secondary mission here, our last star today. But, you know, I do want to get this, uh, silver stall, uh, stall, <laughs> so, yeah. Let's just go into this cannon, and soar through the sky, little Einstein. Um, okay, how do we do this? Okay, um. I think you have to go in the launch pad. I'm going to aim over here. Okay. Yeah. I think that's what you're supposed to do. I was going to aim at the silver stall. But I was gonna say, um, that doesn't seem very safe. <laughs> Knowing what happened last time. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot! Oh, shoot! No, Maya, no! <laughs> shoot. Well, that stinks! Wow, okay. I will be right back! Alright, guys, I'm back, and I decided that instead of actually doing this, I'm just gonna get this Hungry Luma stall because I don't feel like going all the way back into this mission just to get this flower, so. Yeah, that's how it's gonna look. If you feed me a bunch of star bits, I'll put some snacky happiness and then transform! Wow, I've said this so much, I can say it without even looking at it. That's how amazing I am at this. Wow. Wait, with one star bit to fail, this guy's gonna transform all the way into a new planet over here. And yeah. Let's just go, let's go grab this here. This doesn't look very hard at all. Pretty sure I know what to do here. Just aim you. Make sure you don't aim. You know what, the black hole, it's a sound good idea. And all you need to do is grab all of these music notes. Because Mario is musically. That's actually a very bad grammar if you think about it. See, the, this is why the app needs to be banned, guys. It promotes bad glamour. Okay, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's not gonna get banned. It's funny what some people will believe. Ah. <sighs> Okay, let's just grab some of these music notes. Okay. Yep. Oh gosh, nope, Molly up, nope. Do that, no, do that, please don't. Thank you. Okay. 
can we just go? Yo, oh my gosh, no, Mario! Gosh oh, dang it, Mario. Okay, that stinks. You officially stink, Mario. Smell. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. And please don't make me miss that. If I miss that, I swear. I'm gonna break the three mode eventually, I swear. I, I tell you, this three mode, it's gonna be broken in like what? Like, probably like by our 40th episode, I swear. This thing is gonna be broken by how many times I've thrown it at someone or something. I know I keep on saying that I swear, but. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's kind of just. It's kind of just a British thing. I don't know if it actually is a British thing. It's just something that I picked up with my accent. I don't know. A lot of people say that I sound British. I don't know. Do I sound British to you guys? I don't know. Maybe it's just like a personal thing and that. You know, you actually have to listen to me in person to make that judgment. I don't know. But. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. My parents say that I don't sound British. But literally everyone at school thinks I sound British. So I don't know if it's just something that people find funny and, you know, they make fun of me of. And even though know, that's the stupidest thing ever to make fun of someone else because, well, it's going to take offense to that. <laughs> but, um, yeah. If I... If I sound British to you guys, then tell me in the comments section, I guess. Who knows? I may actually be British. I don't know. Who knows? Not me. I don't know if I sound British. I don't know. Anyways, that will be our fourth star today in the Seaside Galaxy. Alright, Micah, give us thou words of wisdom. Boy, he's hungry. I'm oh, I, I I get the joke, guys. I get it. You know why? Cause there's a galaxy in this game. It's called Holy Scoy Galaxy. That's that same format. And get it, cause Holy, Scoy, you know, Holy Scoy Galaxy. You get the joke now. See, it's not funny. This is why N Nintendo employees are Nintendo employees and not comedians. Because they can't make a joke to save their life. Okay, I'm sorry. I just sickly burned, like, like what, thousands of... Not thousands, but probably a few hundred people <laughs> that work at Nintendo and made this game. Oh my gosh, Micah put a blanket on my head for a second. Man. Couldn't see. Crazy, yeah. Also, you don't have to climb this tree if you don't want to. I just thought I did have to, but you don't. So, I said something. I just keep on going over here. I talked to this penguin, but I already did. And of course, we're gonna go into this cannon over here. Definitely make sure that you uh, pick up all of the star bits that you can. You can collect, like, a ton of star bits just by, you know, messing with your pointer and aiming at things, you know. Like, you won't believe how many just stray star bits there actually are in these places. It really is something. Anyways, we do have the silver star, as you can see right here. Hopefully this time it won't kill us. Okay, I'm just gonna make it up here. And... Wow, that... That looked pretty cool. That made it look three-dimensional. That's pretty, that's pretty neat. I like that. Alright, this so next what we gotta do is we just need to fly over here to this tree. I'm pretty sure there's nothing on top of this tree. No, there's not. Uh, then we, we just need to go over here. I you really don't need a yeah, of course you can see that there is a silver star up there. We will need a shell to open a chest that has a silver star over there too. So I'm going to do that right after I collect this one right here. And yes, you will need a bee shroom, as you can see right here, just to grab this one. It does get out of my nerves, but it's a fact of life, so... It's better to accept facts of life than to not. Because really, people, it's... Um, excuse me? Excuse me? Uh, why can't I grab that? 
Okay, I have a feeling that I just have to be normal Molly at you, Batman. I don't know. I've never grabbed a Koopa shell with B Molly, but that's because I've never had the opportunity. Yeah. Okay, apparently we can do it. I don't know. Maybe it just would have been too overpowered. In okay, apparently there is nothing in that chest. Just installed it. Although I'm pretty sure, though, that there is something on top of here. Yeah, no. There's not. I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm getting this level mixed up with Skullshine Beach from Mario Galaxy 2. Which, by the way, if you're wondering about my opinion of Skullshine Beach uh, back in Super Mario Galaxy 2, uh, not Skullshine Beach, I just have the game in general of Super Mario Galaxy 2 versus this game. Well, here's what I have to say Super Mario Galaxy 2 is a very good designed game. It's something I really like. And you know, I think its levels are designed better overall than Super Mario Galaxy. Of course, I have been pointing out like little things that you know each galaxy has done that I think is really smart. But you know, I think Super Mario Galaxy 2, they just had more experience and you know, they just did better. So you know, I'll have to give Super Mario Galaxy 2 that. But I think simply the fact that Super Mario Galaxy was the first one to do it? Really is what seals the deal for Mario Galaxy being my favorite out of the bunch. Cause overall I'd say Mario Galaxy 2 is a better designed game, but I, I don't know. Whereas now I'm pretty sure uh, you can spin this and something will appear. And, oh my gosh, what is going on here? Look at that. Well. Wow. Okay, what do you have to say? I bet you can ride this cloud, too. Okay. What do you have to say? I'm pretty sure I saw some something way, way on top of that palm tree. Yep. And Toad Voice, finally. Let's see. This, uh, this star ought to take you to the captain of... Um, to the captain in one shot. Pow! Alright, well, let's, let's take you all the way over there. As you can see. <laughs> but yeah, so all, all we need to do here is go on to that little water slide over there, and we'll be done with this galaxy and this episode of Super Mario Galaxy. So yeah. But yeah, so, you know, same more about what I was saying with Super Mario Galaxy 2. I do think that the game is well designed, and it's overall better well designed than Super Mario Galaxy, but, you know, just the fact that Super Mario Galaxy was the first one to do it, you know, uh, that's just my opinion, don't kill me for it, but I'm gonna stick to that, because that's what I honestly think. So, anyways, let's just grab this right here, and follow this music note, and make some music, and hear the sound of music, and become a lady. Someone needs to draw that, like Lady Mario, like, in the sound of music. Someone needs to do that, like seriously. Like, like, really, like, someone needs to do that. If someone does that, I, I, my life will finally be complete. I will die happy. <laughs> Anyways, these five silver stars are finally going to turn into one. And it's going to obviously go all the way back over there. You know, it couldn't just, couldn't just be over here, you know? No, it had to be all the way over there. Okay. I guess it is the most easily accessible place, but come on. Why can't they have, like, multiple options, and then have it like, If you got the star over here, then it would appear over here. And if you got the star over there, then it would appear over there. If you got the star over there, then it would appear over there. You know, something like that. You know, something that would at least be logical. But no. Nope. Super Mario Galaxy can't be logical. You know what? It's gosh dang Mario game. That's why. You know, as much as I don't like illogical ideas, Mario is just something that makes it work. Anyways, it's finally it's finally time to put Mario out of his misery. Let's grab the star right here, and yeah, we got the fifth star in the Slee Side Galaxy. And I will see you next time on Super Mario Galaxy.